Hi, good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you, Luis? How are you, teacher? Very good. I am great. Excellent. We're glad to Excellent. hear. Thank you. Yes. Okay, no se preocupe, Stephanie. That's okay. A ver, hi, Willy. Hi, Xiomara. Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, Maylin. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Wilfredo. Kenya, welcome. Karen, Veronica, and Ivania. Excellent, guys. Very nice. So welcome to class. This is uh, this is going to be our second class. All right. So let's see. Yesterday, we stopped talking about the item about size, weight, dimensions. All right. Remember that? That's what we were talking about yesterday. ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Que eso fue lo último que hicimos ayer. <clears throat> yes? No? Yes, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Very good. ¿Y los demás? ¿No? ¿No estamos en esa sintonía todavía? Muy temprano. Son las ocho y dos. Yes, yes, teacher, yes. Excellent, very nice. Hi, Carlita. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Chavez, hello. All right, guys, very good. So, as I said, yesterday we were talking about some features. ¿Se recuerda la pronunciación que veíamos ayer? We were talking about features. ¿Cuál fue la otra palabra que eh, resaltamos ayer en rosado? Aparte de features, ¿se acuerdan? Purchase. Thank you, Luis. Excellent. All right, let's see. Um, Willy, vamos a calentar motores. Willy, give me a sentence, Willy, where you can use the word purchase. Tell me one sentence where you can use the word purchase in the sentence. No, I don't know, teacher. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Xiomara, can you think of one sentence using purchase, please? Hey, my boss. Mm -hmm. My boss has purchased every month. Tell me again, Xiomara, my boss? My boss has a purchase every month. Ok, como tiene una compra. Tiene una compra cada mes. Yes, of course, yes. My boss, my boss has a purchase every month. All right. O lo podemos usar directamente como verbo. ¿Verdad? En este caso, Xiomara, usted está usando has, lo cual está bien. Has es su verbo principal y purchase lo tiene como noun, lo cual no hay ningún problema. Pero también podemos ocupar purchase directamente y decir, my boss purchases everything or an item every month for example, all right? And in that sense, Yamara, usamos purchase as a verb. Pero su oración está perfecta. Thank you. All mm -hmm. right, Maylin, can you give me a sentence using features? The word feature. Can you give me any sentence, please? Teacher, no, casi no se le escucha. ¿No me escuchan los demás? Eh, yo sí, teacher, sí le oigo bien. Okay. Yo también, tipo. Thank you. All right. I think it's connected to Bluetooth. Um, I don't have a idea. Right. I, I uh -huh. I purchased um two cell phones in in the year. Uh, I, okay. I don't know. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Very good, Maylene. Thank you. A okay. ver, Karen Beatriz, give me one sentence using the word feature. My cell phone features are um, red color. Okay, sure. Yeah, that could be. Very good, Karen. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you. Let's see. Elivaldo, can you give me one sentence using the word size? The size in my lab, my laptop is or inches. Okay, okay, very nice, thank you. Oscar Armando, good evening. Oscar, give me a sentence 
using the word wait. Hey, good evening, teacher. Uh, myself uh, weighs is um, uh, 100, 108 uh, gram. Excellent. Very good, Oscar. Nice. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Uh, what about Willie? Uh, no, no, Willie. Wilfredo. Wilfredo, tell me one sentence using the word storage. Good evening, teacher. Uh, uh, storage. Mm. La palabra es storage, ¿cómo la Stor podemos usar? In a sentence. La podemos usar. Ajá, podemos, podemos decir, no sé, la capacidad o el, el almacenamiento of your cell phone, for example, the storage of your cell phone. Uh -huh. my, like, my laptop storage and uh, sync. 150 run. Okay, yes, very nice. Thank you. Excellent, Wilfredo. Very good. All right, one more. The last one. A ver, volunteers. Ya no quiero eh, escoger yo. Voluntarios ahorita. Volunteers to tell me sentences. Teacher, me. The, the sentence, the. I don't hear. Hay un micrófono abierto. Chávez, si me ayuda con su micrófono, thank you. A ver, Willy, me escucha mejor. Uh, ahora? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want an example the function or okay. the value life. That's okay. It doesn't matter. You tell me. That's fine. Okay, the function. Uh -huh. uh, my cell phone is resolution picture excellent and many applications. Sure. It's very fast. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Willie. Nice sentence. Thank you. Luis, yes, tell me. I want you to okay. tell me one sentence, Luis, using battery life. Uh, warranty, teacher. Okay, go ahead. My, my cell phone, uh, I have one year warranty. Oh, it has a one year warranty. Okay, very nice. Thank you. A ver, the last volunteer. Yes, Oscar. Yes, teacher. Okay. The storage. Uh huh. My cell phone is storage the thirty-two gigabyte. Ah, very good, Oscar. Nice. Thank you. Excellent, guys. Very good. All right. So yesterday, para los que no ingresaron ayer, estábamos. Bueno, mi nombre es Jessica Cerritos. In case you were not with me yesterday. And we began the class yesterday and we were talking and using page nine of your book. All right, ahí estamos eh, sacando de, de esa página, page nine, the information about size, weight, price, dimension, battery life, storage, function, and warranty. Okay, now we finished that yesterday. Y cerramos ese tema escogiendo un producto X item que usted quería, que ustedes quisieran como grupo y nos iban a decir las dimensions, the size, the weight, the price. <clears throat> Did you guys finish that activity yesterday in your groups? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Very yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. So um, why don't we start with, I don't know, who wants to begin? Let's see. Stephanie? Stephanie Lisette, did you finish your activity yesterday about the product, about size, weight, and all that? No, teacher. You didn't finish? No. Okay, that's okay. All right, that's fine. Um, Kenya, Claribel, did you finish yesterday the activity of the size and everything of the product? Lo que trabajamos ayer. Ajá, al final. Okay. Si gusta, nos my, información. Okay, my cell phone is black. Its weight is one point. Its function contains four gigabytes okay. of, RAM, of RAM memory. Excellent. 
it has a studio where is where where is it? Okay, where is it? Yes, where is it? The arrival memory is sixty-four gigabytes. Okay, it contains a long lasting. Oh, wow, Kenya. Excellent. All right. Okay, very nice. Thank you. All right, Chavez, yesterday you were working with Scott, all right? Sure, I, I was working with Caro, but uh, and, and Karen Beatrice. Okay, and do you have the information or no? You don't have it, Chavez. No, teacher. Uh, I have information about Caro, okay. about, about Caro computer features. Excellent. Okay, uh, and she told me about the the, the warranty is is three years. Okay. Uh, the 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 computer size is is fourteen inches. Okay. Uh, the price is nine nine hundred dollars. The okay. price. Okay. And the the weight three points points. Uh huh. Uh, battery life six hours okay uh, storage uh, one terabyte oh nice okay um, brand hp pavilion oh very good okay uh, and the last one color dark blue oh very nice nice color very good excellent chavez thank you a ver volunteers de los que todavía lograron terminar ayer and you want to share the information Yes, Oscar. Yes, teacher. Este, my partner is the, the Lina. Okay. And uh, she, she say that so your cell phone uh, size is small. Okay. The the weight uh five ounces. Uh, the price one hundred. Okay. Dimension six uh, six inch for two inch the battery lies three year uh, at the uh, three year okay. storing 32 gigabytes function um, uh, for cell phone facebook twitter um uh, lector the the um, fingerprint DVD, uh, uh, DVD. Oh, okay. Oh, video, video. Okay. And music, uh, other. All right. Uh, finish. Okay. Warranty oh, one year. Oh, perfect. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. That was very nice. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for that. All right. So remember, the idea is I give you a task or I give you an assignment, and the idea is for you to complete the assignment. All right. On the time given. In case you're not finished, it's okay. The idea is for you to practice and be able to finish the activity, all right? But that's okay. I'm going to take attendance on las ocho y cuarto. I'm going to take attendance. Ya tengo a todos los demás compañeros agregados a los que no estaban ayer. Ya ven, no hay problema, ya están en lista. All right, so vamos con eso right now. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Berrios. All right, Carlos. Good el... evening, el present. Oh, hi, Carlos. All right. Very good. Nice to see you. Very good. All right. Uh, Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Okay. Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Present teacher. Good yeah. evening. Good evening. Nice to see you in class. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodriguez. Present teacher. Stephanie Michelle Zuniga Hueso. Present. Excellent. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Okay. Ivania Jamilet Dominguez Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. All right, uh, Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Kenya Claribel Peñate Rivas. 
Present, teacher. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present, teacher. Mardoqueo Ramírez Pérez. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rosa Lina Alvarado. Okay. Um, Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Present. William, Erne William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Present, teacher. Tomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes. Present, teacher. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Lisette García Lemos. Present, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Great. Thank you, guys. Just give me one second here. Okay. All right. So here we are. Alguien que no haya mencionado. Logré mencionar a todos ahora, sí. Excellent. Very nice. Great. Okay, guys. So we're going to continue. Si ya tiene su manual por ahí, sáquelo. Si no lo vemos desde mi computadora. All right, so yesterday we finished page nine, and then we also talked about this. All right, now we're gonna talk about this. Unit one, same as unit one, uh, page 10, purchasing and storing, okay? Now, number four, Verito, si me hacen, uh, Verito, can you please read number four, how to use? Veronica Ayala? Mm -hmm. How to use countable and and countable nouns. Thank you. All right. How to use countable and uncountable nouns. All right. A ver, Evelyn, luego tenemos the chart. Evelyn, can you read the information of both sides, please? How much? How much does the refrigerator weigh? How much does it cost? How much is the warranty? Yeah. How much does it strong, is stronger? Storage. It's storage. Yes, thank you. That's okay. Continue, Evelyn, with how many? Okay. How many? How many uh, futures does it have? How many color is this in? How many function does it have? How many products do you want? Perfect. Thank you, Evelyn. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing, guys, here. And I want you to pay attention to me and I want you to answer my questions. All right. We have countable nouns and we have uncountable nouns. All right. Voy a pasar por alguno de ustedes pidiendo ejemplos de countable nouns. Only the example. I don't want sentences. Luego I'm going to switch to uncountable nouns or non countable nouns. If you don't know, that's okay. All right. Let's see. Wilfredo. One count countable noun, Wilfredo. Okay. Countable noun, Wilfredo. Give me one example, please. Wilfredo, no le escucho. I'm not too sure. Ah, okay, that's okay. That's fine. All right, very good. That's fine. Um, Stephanie Michelle, one countable noun. Apple. Excellent, thank you. Veronica, another countable noun. <clears throat> um, book. Okay, very nice. Carla Lisette, another countable noun, please. Water bottles, botella de agua. Ah, water bottles, yes, Carla, Both. very nice, thank you. Uh, let me see, Kenya, another example for countable nouns. Balón. Excuse me? Balón, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Como un galón de, de agua, de jugo. Yes, a gallon of water, a gallon of juice. Okay, very good. Thank you, Kenya. Let's see, Luis. Tell me one example of uncountable noun, Luis. Uh, the water. Water, very good. Willy, another example of uncountable noun. Oil. 
Oil, very nice. Chavez, an uncountable noun, please. Ow. Excuse me? Ow. No le escucho, Chávez, lo escucho bien lejos. Como usted está en su casa, yo en la mía. <laughs> Ah, snow. Yes. Thank you. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right. Edwin, another uncountable noun, Edwin. K is Kai. Excuse me? Kai. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Carlos Eduardo, another one? Eyes. Eyes. Okay. Very nice. Yomara, the last one. One uncountable noun, please. Feelings. Excuse me? Feelings. Feelings. No, feelings, sentimientos. I'm sorry, yes, feelings. All right, just let that, I'm sorry. All right, <laughs> all right, very good. Feelings, okay. all right, yes, feelings. Okay, excellent. Very nice, okay. very good examples, guys. All right, so countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Remember that the countable nouns you can count it. You can say one, two, three, five, ten, a hundred, a million, two thousand, whatever you count. Uncountable nouns, you cannot count them. Usted no dice one snow, two snow, three snow. ¿Se imagina cuánta nieve va a contar? All right, you can't do that. All right, you cannot count uh, water. You cannot count oil. Si Omar hace feelings, all right? Cuando usted le dice a alguien, te quiero, te amo, le dice, te amo cuatro, te amo cinco, o le dice, te amo uno. ¿Verdad que no? You don't. Espero que no le digan te amo uno. All right. So feelings, you cannot count them. All right. You cannot count feelings. All right. Now, when we have countables and when we have uncountables with countable nouns, what is the question? How much or how many? How with, much? How much with countable nouns? Countable nouns. Uh, how many? How many? How many? All right, that's okay. And with uncountable nouns, what is the question? How much? How much? How much? All right. How many? I said, for example, how many students do I have? Let me see. Elivaldo, hágame un favor. Can you count how many students I have? Sí. How many students do I have in class? Can you count how many students? Yes. Countable, countable book. Um, many countable. And books, cards, vehicles, it down. Okay, very and good. Much, much not countable. Water, sugar, salt, and polluting, and smoke. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. Yes. Very good, Elivaldo. All right. Thank you. All right. Veamos entonces. Um, Karen, Beatriz, how many students do I have in class? You have nineteen students. Me hacen falta varios. Tengo que tener veinticuatro. Thank you, Karen. All right. This es un conteo rápido. Very good. Let's see, Stephanie, Michelle, how many cell phones do you have? One cell phone. One cell phone, all right, very good. Um, Willie, how much love do you have, Willie? How much love? How much love? Love, like I love you, how much love? Very much. Oh, very good, Willie. Excellent. I know me dijo one, two, three, four, five. Me dijo very much. All right. Very yeah. nice. Oscar, um, how many windows do you have, Oscar? Uh, window for uh, five windows. Five windows. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Very nice. I, Evelyn, how much hair do you have? How much hair do you have? One. One hair? Ah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> entendí, entendí como audífonos. Ah, eh, no, no, no. How much hair? Eh, Yo dije, se pone peluca, Evelyn. Right. Mucho. 
Yes, all right. Entonces, en ese caso diría very much. Very I have much. a lot of hair. I have much okay. hair. Yes. All right, very good. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Um, Carla, how... Let's see, Carla. Papá Sinti. Papá Sinti. A ver. Ah. Mm -hmm. Carla, how much water do you drink? How much water? Uh -huh. How much water? Like crystal water or alpina water or las perlitas water or del jorro water. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Okay. A ver, cuando yo le pregunto how much water do you drink, Carlita, es como cuánta agua toma. Al, en el día podría ser, pues, toma mucha, toma poquita, toma una taza, un vaso, una botella, un galón, un litro, how much? Un, un litro, okay. un litro, one. One liter. All right. One liter. Ok, very nice, thank you. Ok, entonces, thank you, Carla. Sabemos que we have count nouns and uncount nouns, all right? When we have uncount nouns, for example, water, milk, juice, soda, cualquier líquido va a ser uncountable. All right? Ahora, si usted me dice, me tomo un litro, tres tazas de café, uh, dos um, gaseosas, all right? Me dice el container, el recipiente o la medida, entonces ya pasa a how many. All right? Ahora, yo vengo y le digo, todos toman café, levántame la mano si toman café. Yo no tomo, pero los demás toman. Excellent. All right, very good. How much coffee do you drink? Ivania, how much coffee do you drink? Uh, three, three cups. Three cups, very good. All right, very nice. Chavez, how much coffee do you drink? Uh... Three, three or four cups per day. Okay, very good. All right. Entonces, si usted se fija, mi pregunta es how much coffee. All right. How much coffee do you drink? Ahora, usted me puede contestar perfectamente como lo acaba de hacer. Three cups of coffee. Five cups of coffee. One cup of, one cup of coffee. All right. Su respuesta se puede convertir en countable porque me dice taza. Ahora, si usted me dice, ay, no, dicho, yo tomo un montón de café. I drink a lot of coffee, all right? You can also answer that, all right? So in some questions, you can say how much, and the answer can be how, like many, three, five, 10, one, whatever, all right? Let's see. Cuando yo digo vegetables, you understand vegetables, yes? Yeah, vegetables, entendemos que son vegetables, yes? Okay. Vegetales. Yes, thank you. Vegetables, count or non-count nouns? ¿En cuál categoría lo pongo? Countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable, levánteme la mano quien dice countable. Con orgullo, porque esa es su respuesta. Si son vegetables, si se dice countable, quiero ver esas manitas, así hasta con sonrisa. Para la foto del recuerdo. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right. Pues no. I'm sorry to break it up to you. Vegetables sería un non-count noun. All right. You say, teacher, pero por qué? All right. Les voy a contar el secreto. Cuando usted tiene un grupo, en este caso, vegetables es un grupo de diferentes vegetables. Cuando usted tiene un grupo de algo, y las unidades son diferentes, entonces ese grupo es uncountable. Ahora, dentro de ese grupo hay zanahoria, hay papas, hay tomates, hay uh, whisky, all right? Entonces eso es diferente. Yo le puedo decir, how many potatoes do you eat? Y usted me dice, five potatoes. Or how many potatoes do you have in the fridge? You say me, you say, I have one pound. All right. Ahora, vegetable como tal, como conjunto es non-count noun. ¿Por qué? Porque está compuesto de diferentes unidades. No todo, so, si usted dice vegetables, 
no solo piensen en, en zanahoria, piensen en todas las que están. All right, yes, nos queda claro. Ok, yes, what about fruit? Yes. Y entonces, fruit, countable or uncountable? Unaccountable. No, countable. No, countable. ¿Por qué? Why? Why uncountable? Si es que le pregunta a Menti, ¿cómo sabes? ¿Por qué decís que fruit is uncountable? Ajá, give me an answer. Fruit is eh, similar a bello. Yes, it is, Oscar. Very good. Fruit is a group. All right. And this group is made of different units. Apples, pears, bananas, papaya, watermelon, honeydew mangoes, all right, it different fruits, all right? So fruit, al igual que vegetable, is uncountable noun. A ver, another one, furniture. Do you know what furniture is? Yes. Okay, everybody understands furniture? Alguien que no entienda que es furniture? Okay, muebles, furniture. Que sería count or non-count? No. Count. Count. Levánteme la mano quien dice count. Ok. Para el recuerdo sonríe. <laughs> All right. Very good. Igual. Furniture es igual que vegetables, igual que fruit. Es un conjunto. Cuando usted dice muebles, no solo piensa en el sillón. Piensa en la mesa, en el sofá, en la mecedora, en la cama, en el ropero en la mesa de noche, all right, todo eso compone furniture, all right, yo le puedo llegar y le puedo preguntar, how much furniture do you have in your house, y usted me dice, I have a lot of furniture, all right, ahora si yo le pregunto, how many beds, usted va a ir y va a contar cuántas camas, cuántos roperos, va a ir a contar cuántos roperos, todo eso conforma furniture, Ok, entonces furniture es un grupo y sus unidades son diferentes. That's why it's uncountable. Ok, yes, me siguen con eso, you guys understand? Yes, ok. Yes, teacher. Y la pregunta del millón, ¿y money countable o non countable? Is it countable? It's countable. No countable, no countable or countable? Countable. Countable. No countable. No countable. No countable. Why, Carlos Eduardo? Carlos Eduardo, why non countable? Um, it's a group. Uh -huh, it's a group and? Um, eh, en algunas ocasiones podría ser eh, individual uh, o algo countable. ¿Mm? Sí, muy bien, Carlos. Es un grupo igual que vegetable, igual que fruit, igual que furniture. Está compuesto por diferentes unidades. Pennies, nickels, dimes, dollar, five dollar bill, ten, twenty, twenty dollar bill, a fifty dollar bill, and a hundred dollar bill. All right, so it's a group. All right, but different units. Media vez sea un grupo compuesto por diferentes unidades, siempre va a ser uncountable. Por eso usted cuando pregunta cuánto vale algo, dice how much is, ouch, how much is my pencil? All right, how much is it? Okay, ah, 20 cents. All right, o 10 cents, no sé qué valen los lápices, quizás 20 centavos, I don't know. All right, 20. Usted llega a un almacén y pregunta, how much is the blouse? How much are the glasses? How much is the cell phone? Usted no dice, how many is the cell phone? ¿Cierto? Y si lo había dicho, pues ya no lo va a decir. All right, how much? ¿Por qué much? Because money is uncountable. Okay. Yes, guys, me siguen con eso. Questions? Do you have any questions? No? Yes, si son siempre de calladitos. Yes, Nina. You have a question? 
Excuse me, because I I neglect. I have some problem with Zoom. Uh, for that reason, I I don't understand when the the clue word for uh, uh, identification the counter and counter. Okay. Yeah, we were talking about countable nouns. Nina is everything that you can count. Whatever you can count. All right. And uncountable mm -hmm. nouns are things that you cannot count. For example, liquids. All right, water. Rain, ahorita que llueve, all right, uh, oil, sand, mm -hmm. snow, you cannot count that. También decíamos por ahí feelings. Usted no dice yo te quiero cinco, te quiero diez. Hoy te quiero uno. Usted dice I love you very much. All right, entonces feelings is uncountable. Luego empezamos a hablar sobre, bueno, yo les empecé a preguntar si vegetables and fruits and mm -hmm. Furniture is countable y uncountable. De repente entendimos o nos dimos cuenta o nos recordamos que cuando es un grupo compuesto de diferentes unidades, siempre va a ser uncountable noun. Esa es regla. All right. Por eso okay. igual el money, Anina. Ah, okay. Usted dice, how much is, my, is the house? $25,000, $55,000, whatever. All right. Pero usted dice, how much? No dice, how many? Ah, okay, ok, porque el okay, dinero está okay. compuesto de diferentes denominaciones, ¿cierto? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. entonces ahí estamos, Nina. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Questions. No, nobody has questions right now. Teacher. Yes, Carlos. A general example will be products by labels in the market is countable. Mm, like what, Carlos? Eh, Haciendo referencia a, a un producto que, que sí podemos contabilizar, sería los de etiqueta en el súper, en el market. Sí, um, de hecho, <coughs> todo, digamos, por decirlo así, usted va al súper y todo lo que está ahí, usted lo puede contar, ¿verdad? Ahora, meat, por ejemplo, va a la, a la sección de carnes, all right, eh, le van a decir, how, usted puede decir, I want, Meat podría ser contable o no contable dependiendo. Si usted solo quiere un pedazo de carne, un trozo, usted dice one piece of meat. All right. Pero si usted lo ve en general, meat es el, el, la pierna. All right. Eh, of meat. Okay. Okay. Entonces va a depender. Okay. Pero los productos que están, eh, digamos, enlatados y todo eso, los yogur y todo eso, usted los puede contar porque están embotellados. All right. Ok, usted puede llevar una bolsa de azúcar o una libra de azúcar. Ok, entonces si eso se vuelve contable por cómo está empaquetado, Carlos. All ok, right. thank you. Thank you, very good. Anybody else? No more questions. Ok, perfect, very good. I'm going to share this with you. Hold on, guys, give me a second. Give me one second. Ok. Vamos a compartir esto. Ya lo vimos, pero quiero que lo volvamos a ver just in case. Here we have this, guys. Here we have countable and uncountable nouns. Can you see my screen? Yes? Ok. Countable nouns. Things we can count. For example, cats. Pueden haber miles de gatos. All right, but you can count them. Si usted se da la tarea, you can count cats, all right? So my brother has a cat, one cat. My sister has two cats. And my friend has three cats, all right? O en la calle, there are many cats, okay? Another example, remember cuando son countable nouns, son cosas. Book, table, computer, pen, bananas, shirt, television, house, all right? Those are things that you can count. People, all right, we can count people, por eso hay census, all right? So you can count people, men, woman, child, friend, uncle, teacher, boss, all right? Se puede tener un jefe, puede tener cinco jefes, okay? So you have people, you can count people, yes, no problem. Voy a mover, ¿puedo mover? Yes? No, 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 no teacher. Okay, okay, me avisa, no se preocupe.
Ready? Yes, yeah, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Igual, eh, cuando estemos en los breakout rooms, me voy a unir al grupo de WhatsApp y siempre les puedo compartir estas presentaciones en el grupo, ¿ok? Para que lo tengan ahí de backup. All right, next one. Countable nouns. You can use, cuando hablamos de countable nouns, podemos usar estas palabras que se llaman quantifiers, all right, que nos hablan de cantidad. Para no decir exactamente la cantidad precisa, 3, 5, 10, 25, 1,000, 1 millón, all right, podemos usar quantifiers. Many, a few, some, and any. Si yo le digo, how many brothers do you have? Usted no quiere decirme exactamente. Usted me dice, I have many brothers. Ahora, yo me imagino que tiene cuatro o puedo imaginarme que tiene doce. I don't know. You said many. All right. Ya queda como a mi criterio de decir cuánto sería many. Ok. A few. Algunos, o bueno, mejor dicho, pocos. Some, algunos y any. Like, I don't have any. Cuando lo usamos en negativo para decir no tengo. How many brothers do you have? I have a few books in my backpack. She bought some bananas. Does she have any children? Okay, so we have these quantifiers and these are very important for you to use. Esto lo que hace es que no necesariamente decimos la cantidad exacta. Okay. All right. ¿Me avisan para mover? Ok. Next one. Uncountable nouns. Hoy vamos con las uncountable nouns. Things we can't count or, mire ahí, can't divide into individual units. We cannot do that. Ok. Esa sería como the definition of uncountable nouns. Things we can't count or things that can't be divided into individual units. All right. Okay. All right, I'm moving right now. Finish teacher. Excellent, thank you. All right, next one. Okay, so here we have this. Uncountable nouns, examples, ideas, concepts, love, fun, sadness, work. Usted dice, yo tengo mucho trabajo. I have much work. No, dice, I have many work. All right. Peace, safety. Todos esos son conceptos, ideas. All right. You cannot count that. Teacher, ¿qué significa sadness? Sadness es tristeza. Okay. Okay. Next one here. Voy a pasar. Then we have this one. Uncountable noun siempre. Words related to information are also uncountable. All right. Ahora, no solo las palabras, la palabra información como tal, esa es no contable, pero también las, las que se derivan de información. Por ejemplo, cuando usted pide consejo, usted eh, pide un consejo, pero yo no le voy a decir, vaya, le voy a dar cinco consejos. <ríe> Ahora estudie más, hable más, practique más, escuche más. No, yo solo voy a decir, I have, I can give you like some advice. Ok, advice es consejo. Information, news, Knowledge. Ninguna de esas se pueden, con, son contables. Ninguna. All right. Teacher, repeat me, please, pronunciation eh, de now, well, la última frase. Ah, knowledge. Knowledge. 
knowledge. Yes, viene de, de know, de conocer, o de, en este caso, knowledge es conocimiento. Ok. Knowledge, yes, very good. Ok, next one. ¿Puedo mover? ¿Me avisan? Yes, teacher. Great, thank you. Ok. Uncountable nouns, materials are also uncountable. Cuando hablamos de materiales, por ejemplo, gold, silver, paper, wool, que es lana, wood, plastic, metal, and glass, todos esos materiales son uncountable. All right. Can I move it now? Yes. All right. Okay, next one. Category words are often uncountable. All right. Y es lo que veníamos hablando porque son grupos y están compuestas de diferentes unidades. Music, furniture, equipment, jewelry. Jewelry es joyería. Literature and meat. Todas esas son ejemplos de category words que son como grupos uh, compuestas de diferentes unidades. Por eso no las podemos contar. All right, next. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia jewel? Jewelry. Jewelry. Con, ¿Cómo? Con Ju U, como con U. Ah, jewelry. Jewelry. Ok, thank you. La W con la E, ignórela. <laughs> jewelry. Okay, next. Can I continue or not yet? Yes, teacher. All right, perfect. There are liquids and other foods that we that can be counted. For example, water, butter, rice, flour, milk. All right. Recuerde que yo puedo contar el recipiente o lo que pesa, pero no el lo, el contenido en sí. O sea, el, la leche. El arroz, en este caso la margarina o mantequilla, you cannot count it. Finish. Okay. Okay. Ya casi, ya casi con uncountable nouns. Igual podemos usar los quantifiers, pero en este caso vamos a usar much, a little, some, and any. Some y any son iguales que los countable nouns, much no y a little tampoco. All right. So you can use this when you're speaking about uncountable nouns. Entonces, en una pregunta podemos ocupar las otras tres. Kenia, no le escucho bien, disculpe. Sería que si hacemos una pregunta podemos utilizar las otras tres palabras. Cuando, con, cuando le hacen, por ejemplo, yo le digo, how much, um, how much milk, o la del café, how much coffee do you drink? Y usted me puede decir, I drink, uh, like much or a little coffee or some coffee. All right, ahora el any por lo general es cuando es negativo. Usted me dice, I don't 
drink any coffee. Ah, solo sería cuando utilizamos en respuesta de las preguntas. Exactamente. Es, uh, how much? Exactamente, Kenia. Very good. Ah, ok. Entonces, para preguntas no la podríamos usar. Por lo general, la pregunta siempre va a ir con how much o how many. Ah, perfecto. En las respuestas, ya usted puede usar los quantifiers. Much, a little, some, and any. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Vamos aquí. Bye. A otra cosa que we need to remember, voy a dejar de compartir. Pensemos en love. Y yo dale con el love, pero es que nos queremos mucho todos. All right? Love. ¿Usted dice love o loves? Love. ¿Nunca le pone ese o sí le puede poner ese en algún momento? No, no es verbo. No estoy pensando en verbo, ¿verdad? Estoy pensando en noun. Por ejemplo, si tú eres persona. Yes. No. Por ejemplo. Yes, you use this. Mm -hmm. Voy, voy, voy. Perdón, Chávez, excuse me. Is Gorris. Ok. Este, usted dijo que, que si podíamos usar la palabra de love con, con esa, que usted dijo, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, yo, yo le respondí que sí, sí. O sea, si nos referimos a, a, a tercera persona, por ejemplo, puedo decir she loves, por ejemplo. Claro. No sé si refería a eso. Sí, y está súper bien, Chávez, solo que love en ese caso ya no es un noun, sino que es un verbo. Y como verbo sí le tengo que poner ese para tercera persona singular. Ahora, love como sustantivo, no como verbo, ¿le puedo poner ese sí o no? Ah, ok, ok. Entonces estaba algo confundido con lo... Sí, pero, es, pero está súper bien, Chávez, porque sí, sí entendemos, obviamente, que le tenemos que poner ese a los verbos y eso está súper bien. Ahora, acuérdese que en inglés hay muchos verbos que son nombres o al revés, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos que saber identificar, pero súper bien. Ahora, como nombre, love, ¿le puedo poner ese sí o no? ¿Qué dicen los demás? Ajá. Yes, uh, is, I... is, is, is you use the uh, she or he, it, you put s. Sí, claro. Mira, lo mismo que me está diciendo Chávez. Como verbo, sí, Nina. Ahora, right, como verbo tiene que ponerle la S, pero como sustantivo, no como acción. Amor, la, la palabra amor, no de yo amo, tú amas, el ama. Ahora, right, eso es verbo. La palabra amor, love, ¿la podemos poner S, sí o no? Oscar también decía algo por ahí. Eh, depende, ahí dice ahí eh, si love is for, for person o o o something my television for dice ahí uh -huh. yes ok, vamos a ver voy a compartir aquí algo vamos a escribir acá, pueden ver mi pizarra yes yes Allí el she loves her baby es lo que me están diciendo. Ahí está súper bien. Loves, no solo, bueno, le agregamos S porque es un verbo, es una acción. Ok, ahora, love, nada más la palabra love como sustantivo, no como verbo. Puedo plural, así como piensa en la palabra book, vaya. ¿A book le puedo poner S o no le puedo poner S? Sí, eh, sí. sí, le puede poner. Yo tengo 10 ¿Sí? libros, ¿cómo voy a decir? ¿Ten qué? Books. Ten books. Con ese al final. All right. lo, puedo, lo puedo poner ese, muy bien. O sea que puedo pluralizarlo. A los no contables, por ejemplo, love, que es no contable porque es un sentimiento. Entonces, los no contables yo no los puedo pluralizar nunca. ¿Ok? Mm. All right. Por ejemplo, yo digo traffic. ¿Traffic es contable o no contable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Hay mucho tráfico, pero no digo hay un tráfico, dos tráficos, tres tráficos, cuatro tráficos. All right. Entonces, traffic, ¿lo puedo, le, ¿lo puedo pluralizar sí o no? ¿Puedo decir así? No. 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 No, no puedo. No. All right. Mire esta y esta es bien común.
homework, tarea. ¿Lo puedo pluralizar? ¿Le puedo poner así? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. All right. Pues no. La verdad que esa está súper mala. Así ve, malísima. All right. Homework no se puede pluralizar porque es no contable. ¿Por qué? Volvemos a lo mismo. Es un grupo. Yo puedo tener tarea de inglés, de matemáticas, de ciencias, de física, de química, de marketing, de lo que sea. Puedo tener mil tareas de diferente. All right. Entonces, homework es no contable y nunca lo puedo pluralizar. Si usted dice, tenemos 10 homeworks, gramaticalmente está malo. Usted dice, I have much homework. All right. Entonces, homework is not countable. Yes, uh, Nina. In the case of vegetable. Uh -huh. ¿Qué pasa? No, don't use es also. Uh, you say vegetables. Yes. Uh -huh. it's one, you say no, I have one vegetable. Por lo general es un grupo. Entonces ya lleva. Es como la palabra. Vegetable le pasa como la palabra news. De noticias. Ah, okay. Ya lleva. Okay. okay. I got it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Entonces, como clave, cuando hablamos de uncountable nouns, no podemos pluralizarlos. Mientras que booksy, book, books. Uh, computer, computers. Child, children. Obviamente ese es irregular, ¿verdad? No dice childs. El, el plural de person, ¿cuál es? Plural de person. People, ¿verdad? People. No vaya a andar diciendo persons. Eso no está bien. Decimos people. How many people are in class? 20 students. No decimos how many persons. Ya tiene su plural. ¿Cuál es el plural de food? What is the plural of food, guys? Food. The food de pie. Feet. 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 Very good. No puede decir fits. Si no está diciendo pies, es, 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 es. All right. Plural de tooth. Teach. Teeth. All right. Plural de man. One man and two. Men. Men. All right. Póngase a pensar. Piense en los eh, héroes. Esos cartoons. Spider qué? Man. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. But? Man. Batman. Super? Superman. Man. All right. Porque solo hay uno. Bueno, antes solo había uno. Hay, ahora hay como mil nombres de araña. All right. But that's okay. All right. El plural es man, men. Plural de woman? Superwoman. Women. Woman. Super women. <laughs> women. <laughs> yeah, the woman, women. Okay, very good. Yes, women. Aquí vemos por decir uh, 15 women. Okay. Mm -hmm. No decimos womans. No. Jamás de los jamás es child. Decimos children. One child. Three children. Tampoco children. decimos childs ni decimos childrens. Esos son irregulares pero siempre tienen un plural, entonces son contables. Yes? Do you guys understand? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Excellent, seguros. ¿Y si les hago un examen ahorita? ¿Salimos bien? Like 10, excellent, yes? Chávez dice que 11 va a sacar, dice Chávez. So, so, teacher. Es mejor de 10, dice Chávez. Very good. <laughs> Very good, of course. Very good. Thank you. Okay, veamos entonces. Let's go back to the book. Let's go back here. Okay, so here we have complete the following questions using how much or how many. Okay, now, eso está bien fácil. Nos vamos a ir a los grupos. We're going to work on this. Complete the following questions. Vamos a hacer this exercise. Exercise five. One, two, three, four, five, six questions. Only how much, how many. Cuando terminemos this first exercise, y de verdad les pido que si pueden hacerlo en computadora para regresar y compartir su pantalla y yo poder ver. All right, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a escribir some sentences. All right. La mayoría tomó nota de la presentación que yo compartí. Okay. 
Yes. Y si no, we're in big trouble. No, mentira, no estamos en problema. Vamos a ver. Entonces, me van a hacer, van a hacer varias oraciones. Me van a hacer uh, 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 the countable nouns, una oración donde hable de cosas, things. All right, que fue el primer slide. Another sentence number two. Now I want you to talk about people. All right, si quieren se las comparto acá otra vez para que sepan de lo que estoy hablando. Entonces aquí va, one sentence the thing, one sentence of people. Cualquiera de estas o usted otra, no importa. Students, teachers, whatever. Ahí serían dos, pero de las no contables son más. Ok, de las no contables vamos con one sentence con una idea o un concepto, ya sea los que están aquí o de cualquier otro que a usted se le ocurra. La idea es que me haga one sentence using an idea or a concept, uncountable. All right. Ano Uy. Another sentence using cualquiera de estas relacionadas con information. Okay. Another sentence with materials. Another sentence with cate uh, category words. And another sentence with liquids or foods. No sé cuántas le salieron, pero le salieron varias. Ahora, usted puede usar dentro de sus oraciones, you can use the quantifiers, ya sea much, a little, some, any. Esas serían de los uncountables. Or you can use the quantifiers for countable, many, a few, some, and any. ¿Cuántas oraciones le salieron en total? Like 10? 8? 9? 10? Seven. 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 Seven yes. in total. Okay, not so many. All right, guys. Nos vamos ahorita cuando regresemos tomamos asistencia. Son las nueve y tres, nueve y cuarto los regreso. Tratemos de terminar. Hold on, guys. Vamos en trabajo en equipo, ¿verdad? Todos ayudándonos ahí. Let's go right now.
Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Steph. Hi, teacher. Ahorita voy de camino y aún no he llegado, por eso no he podido hacer la actividad. Ah, vaya, está bien. ¿Estaba en algún grupo? ¿Cómo? ¿Estaba en algún grupo? Sí, estaba con Carlos. Elibaldo. Sí. All right. okay. Pero ahorita no se puede unir, ¿verdad? No, ahorita no. Ah, ya, no se preocupe, no se preocupe, tranquila. Ok. Otro grupo. Elibaldo. Carlos Elibaldo me escucha.
All right, guys, did you finish the exercise? Yes? Almost, teacher. Okay, all right, that's okay. Very good. What about the rest? Carlos Eduardo, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. What about the rest of you? Um, Willie, Nina, everybody finished or almost? Yes, we finished. Excellent, very nice. Okay. Yes, finished, teacher. Excellent, that's nice, thank you. Okay, so let's go back here then. Number one. Um, Willie, do you have number one? Para que la lea toda, Willie, please. Okay. Uh, how many pieces do I need to assemble this? How many pieces or how many pieces? How many pieces? Excellent. Thank you. All right. Number two. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Oh, we're going to check. Um, Edwin, what do you have for number two? Uh, okay. Uh, how how many do this book cost? Ah, a ver, Edwin, seguro que es how many do this book cost? How many do these books cost or how much? Uh, no, no, uh, how much? How much? Do yeah. this book cost? Excellent, yes, very nice, thank you. Nina, number three. I, how much is the battery life of this computer? How much is the battery life of this computer? All right, very good. Kenya, number four. Number four, how many hours do I charge it? Very good, yes, how many hours do I charge it? Very good. Veronica, number five, and Xiomara, you can do number six. How much money do you have? How much money do you have? Very good, thank you, Veronica. And Xiomara, can you do number six? How many gallons of water does, does this mean? Excellent, very nice. Okay, now I'm going to stop sharing my screen right now. Vamos a ver, vamos a empezar de abajo para arriba. Luis Abrego and Maylin, all right? Uh, okay. Can I see, can we see your sentences? ¿Los lograron hacer en compu o solo nos lo van a leer? Solo leído, piche. Okay, that's okay. How, how much homework do you have? Mm. Okay. Um, I homework. I, I a little bit of homework. Okay, you have a little bit of homework. Okay, that's fine. A ver unas dos más, Luis. Okay. How many people live in your house? Ah, okay. In my house live one people and one person. Me. <laughs> one person. One yeah. person. Okay, very good, Marilyn. Very nice. Luis, the last one. How, how many cards do you have? Hmm. I have one card. Okay, all right, very good. Thank you. Let's see. Oscar and Wilfredo. ¿Cómo lo hicieron ustedes? No, no se preocupe si no lo hicieron como pregunta. That's okay. All right, I just want to see what you have. Oscar and Wilfredo. Um. Como pregunta, teacher. That's okay. Okay, perfecto. Uh, uh, how many books did you buy today? Huh. Uh, four books. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, how, much fun, how much fun did you have at the party on Saturday? Nice, nice. Uh -huh. Yes. How much fun? ¿Cuánto se divirtió? A lot, very much. Much. Okay. Very much. <laughs> very much. Very good, Wilfredo. Nice. The last one, Oscar. Um, uh, ha, uh, how many, how many, how many children do you have? Hmm. Uh, three children. 
Three children. All right, very nice. Thank you. All right, vamos al revés. Sala number one. Karen and Carla. We did only five sentences. That's okay. All right, that's fine, Karen. You can read three and then Carlita can read the other two. Okay. I buy many books. Okay. I have many friends. We have so much fun. Excellent. Nice sentences. Very good, Carlita. The other two? They have, have many bad news. Oh. We need a few plastic. Okay. They have. la primera, Carla. They have. Uh -huh. Have. Se escribe. Have. They have. Uh -huh. Many bad news. Mm. Pero news es no contable y many es para contable. Creería ah. yo que podemos arreglar diciendo they have a lot of bad news, a lot. All right, that could be. Or some bad news. Podría ser cualquiera de esas dos, Carla. Ok, quítale el many. Uh -huh. Ok. Excellent, very nice. Thank you. All right, let's see. Um, Kenya and Xiomara, tell me your sentences, please. My brother has two boards. Okay. I have many friends on Facebook. Okay. He has much sadness today. Oh, no. Okay. I have much computer knowledge. Ah, knowledge. 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 Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. How much wood does the third person have? Okay, very nice. Thank you. All right, Carlos, Eduardo, and, and Nina. Okay. Uh, you comfortable. Uh, I love contemporary music. Okay. Comfortable is I dances we he have any pits in the house. Okay. Pets. And the other ones? Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry. So, Nina, go ahead. Ahead. Yes, Nina, will you go ahead? Uh huh. Okay. How many pictures do you have in the house? Okay. Uh, they have a nice furniture. They have, okay. Um, I have a few pencil in my work. Okay. And the other one, how many table has in the restaurant? Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, a ver, Nina, regáleme la de furniture. They have a nice furniture. They have nice furniture. Quítele el A porque la me okay. importa una. All okay. right, eso se vuelve contable. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, uh, Regáleme la de pencils. Um, I have few pencils in my work. Okay, I have few pencils, con ese. Few, few pencils, huh? Pencils, yes. Pencils. Pencils, yes, okay. Yeah. La del restaurant. Uh, the restaurant. How many tables uh, has in the restaurant? Usted la, la podemos arreglar, eh, Nina, diciendo how many tables are there in the restaurant or how many tables does the restaurant have? Para hacerla una pregunta correcta, ¿verdad? Are, are there. Uh -huh. okay. How many tables okay. are there in the restaurant? Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Very good. Um, Carlos, regáleme las dos que usted me leyó. Okay, let's uh, go. I love contemporary music. Okay, in ese caso, ¿cuál es el noun? ¿Cuál es el 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 countable noun? Un countable sería love. No, es el verbo. Así como no han puesto con Nina, ese ese love es verbo, no es noun. Noun ahí es music. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. 
Yes, music. Music era, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. All okay, right. Yes. Do you remember, Carlos, music? Yes, yes, music in, uh -huh. in many. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. nice. Usted podría... Y... Continúe, sí, dígame. Okay, I'm sorry. How many pictures do you have in the house? Do you have in the house? Eso está bien. Very nice. Thank you, guys. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, let's Thank see. Um, we have Stephanie, Michelle, and Evelyn. Okay. Uh, Contable now. How many television do you have? Okay. Uh, how many? How many children do you have? And how many shirts in do you have in your closet? Okay. All right. Ahora, Evelyn, para television, póngale ese. How many televisions do you have? Yes. Okay. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Yes. Very good. Stephanie, Michelle, are you going to tell me more sentences? Uh, how many banana are on the table? And answer three bananas. Okay, nice. Um, how many? Um, he has some house in the neighborhood. Ah, uh, he has some house. Me dijo. Houses. Uh -huh. He has some houses, houses in the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. Very good. Yes. Okay. And uncountable. I love my boyfriend very much. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ahora, cuando se dice, eh, I love my boyfriend very much, ¿cuál es el noun, Stephanie? Um, I. No, ese es el pronombre. Mm. El, contable, el, el contable o no contable, ¿cuál sería? Love. Love. Ahí es verbo. Cuando se dice, I love you, ¿Verdad? Love es, es el verbo, es la acción de yo quererla a usted, ¿verdad? Yo amar a la persona. I love Boy. boyfriend. En ese caso, el noun sería boyfriend. All right. Okay. Ahora es contable, solo es uno, ¿verdad? Stephanie Michelle. All right, no es boyfriend. Yes. All right. Very good. En ese caso, sí, el, count, el, el noun, perdón, es boyfriend. All right. Pero okay. love, en ese caso, es verbo. I love my boyfriend, all right, okay? Okay. Okay, no se preocupen, very nice, thank you. Uh, veamos, tenemos Vero and Willy. Verónica and, and Willy. Okay. Um, William has two computers in his house. Okay. And I have five teachers in the university. Uh, Williams need a lot of love. Y bueno, que diga el, el resto. Hola, hola. Casi no le escucho, teacher. Ah, ok. A contable. Eh, Verónica, have two boots, two boots in your house. En, la, en mi casa o en la de ella. In her, her house. Your house, okay, very good. Uh huh. Veronica knew five hundred dollars. Oh my goodness, Vero, para qué? No, I'm kidding, Vero. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh huh. Um, we have one teacher in the class. Excellent, is suficiente. <laughs> All right, very good, Willy. <laughs> Willy, regáleme la primera otra vez, perdone. Be Veronica. Uh, Verónica how to boots. Okay. Verónica has. Acuérdese que esta era tercera persona oh. particular has, ¿verdad? Verónica has, has two boots. Yeah. Very nice. Very good. Excellent, Willy. Nice. A ver, me falta. Uncountable. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Verónica needs a lot of love. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We have a lot of work. Mm. Okay. The printer needs much paper. Excellent. Very nice. Nice sentence. Very good, Willie. Uh, diga las, ulti las últimas dos, Verónica. <laughs> uh, 
William listen to music every night and we need drink water every day. William listens to music every night. ¿Cuál sería el count por ahí? El, el perdón, el now. Que no, tengo, no tengo una hora específica de escuchar música. Ok, pero ¿cuál sería el, el, el sustantivo music. de la oración? Music, ¿verdad? Music. 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 Yes. Yeah. Ok, very good. Excellent, guys. Thank you, Willy. Thank you, Verónica. And, ¿qué me falta? Edwin and Ivania. ¿Qué me los dijeron? Eh, bueno, how much silver do you need to make a rhyme? Oh, nice. El um, answer sería. I need a little three ounce of silver. Okay. Uh, how much music have in the cell phone? Oh, nice. Uh, answer very much. Okay. Um, how many house does it have? Okay. Uh, he has many, no, pardon. He has one house in the city. Okay. And how many dogs in your house? Mm -hmm. He has two dogs in, in the house. Okay, all right, very nice. Very good guys, thank you. All right, any questions about countable and uncountable nouns? Do we understand the topic of countable and uncountable? Yes? So, so? Eso very con todas las que hicimos. So, so, teacher. Very good, Ivania. So, so. Okay. Acuérdese que como todo, tiene que practicarlo, ¿verdad? Ahora, de repente, no sé si sienten que aprendieron algo nuevo cuando hablamos de countable o non-countable nouns. All right. Si en caso fue sí, lo más probable es que aprendimos que fruit, vegetable, money, todo eso son grupos y no se pueden contabilizar como grupo, sí como unidad. All right, entonces a eso sí le ponemos el match, ¿verdad? How, how much, en el caso que sería no contable, lo vamos a tratarlo como no contable, como, como grupo. Ahora, si yo le digo cuántos mangos se come a la semana, usted me dice 10 mangos, vaya, y ahí me dice mangos, estamos hablando de una unidad específica. All right, entonces eso sería ahí para lo del countable and uncountable nouns. All right. Igual no se preocupe, mañana les doy otro ejercicio y seguimos con, lo, con esto, ¿de acuerdo? All right, let's move on here, guys, with your book siempre. Let's go back with our book. All right, so here we have, okay, let's go to page 11. It says, I will be able to give instructions about how some products have to be handled and stored. Number one, describe where the different products your workplace works with are stored, all right? Entonces, vamos a hablar un poquito de almacenamiento y de cómo se trata ese producto, okay? Now, we have a conversation here. We have Aaron and we have Sam, all right? So here we have the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. All right, so this is the conversation about Aaron and Sam, and I want you to read it with me. So I need two volunteers. I need one Aaron and I need one Sam. Si me dice mi teacher, dígame el nombre de una vez. So you, I know who wants to read. William. Okay, very good, William, thank you. You Adam. are Aaron, okay. Who's Sam? Oscar, thank you, Oscar, you're Sam. You can read now. Okay, the new material use arrived in the morning, tell much that he has to store everything. Uh, where does he have the store, the box? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Uh, okay, uh, but uh, there are many box, can they use the left? 
they have to use the leave, but as um, tell the secretary first. Uh, she is going to say they can use it uh, then in going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Excellent, thank you guys, very nice. All right, I need two more. I need another Aaron and I know I need another Sam. Thank you. ¿Quién me acaba de levantar la mano? Me. Ah. Alguien me levantó la mano y lo vi. Karen. Karen and, and, and Nina. Okay, so Karen, can you be Aaron? And Nina, can you please be uh, Sam? Okay. okay. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and, and Ivan what they have to do. Excellent, very nice, thank you. All right, a ver, Edwin, you're going to be Aaron and I need the last sum. The last sum who's, okay, Carla, very good. Carla, you can be Sam. Evelyn, nos quedamos pendiente a la siguiente. All right, very nice. Okay, uh, the new material just arrived in the morning. Del Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the buses? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but they are many bots, buses. Can they use the lift? They have to use the, the lift, but as and then the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Excellent, thank you guys, very good. <clears throat> okay, this is what I want you to do. Everybody, I want everybody checking the conversation. I'm gonna give you one minute. Please read the conversation quietly. And I, when you finish, tell me if you have questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation or meaning, all right? And then we can talk about it. So, un minuto, read it over. Teacher, eh, water, waterhouse, la pronunciación. Warehouse. Where, ¿Cómo? Warehouse. Warehouse, ok. Yes, warehouse. Very good, thank you. A ver, yo creo que ya terminaron de leerla. All right, what, any questions? No questions about all these vocabulary. Estamos bien with the uh, with everything. What is warehouse? Warehouse is bodega. Okay, warehouse is bodega. Someone else? Uh huh. A leaf t-shirt. Ah. Voy, voy. Uh, Nina, lift es como un elevador, pero de esos tractorcitos que anda, ah. que levantan las cajas. Por ejemplo, si usted va a EPA, los ve como bien seguido. Monta right. cargas. Monta cargas. There you go. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank, Thank you. you. Excellent. Someone else had a question. No logré ver quién más era. Yo, Kenia. Yes, Kenia. Boxes. Boxes. Uh -huh. Cajas. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Someone else?
Everything okay then? Everything is okay, teacher. Excellent, very nice. Okay, so just remember guys, por lo general, cuando tenemos una U, esa U suena como una O. Oh. All right, the new material just arrived. No decimos just. Just arrived in the morning, okay? Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, so that is the conversation. Again, any questions? No, no more questions. Excellent, guys. Okay. If you notice here, and if you're paying attention, we're using have to and has to. Voy a dejar de compartir. What is have to and what is has to? When do I use have to and when do I use has to? Anybody that uh, can explain that to me? Uh, I, I use have, have to mm -hmm. when, I, when I get a third person. Okay. When I he has to. Mm -hmm. uh, I I use have to when I refer to third person. Okay. All right. Very good. So have to we use it for I you we day. Eso para empezar. Thank you, Chavez. All right. So I have to. You have to. They have to. We have to. Excellent. And has to. Uh, Mailing has to. Elivaldo has to. Edwin has to. She has to. He has to. Third person singular, we use has to. Esa es de estructura. And the meaning? Es lo mismo decir I have to go que decir I have a pen. No. No? What is the difference, Evelyn? I have. Mm -hmm. I have a. Yo tengo. Yes, like possession. I has, yes, uh -huh. yes. I has is, is past. Mm, really? Yo tuve, yo, yo tuve. I just say I have. I have a pencil, is it has? Yes, yes. I have a pencil. All right, pero mm -hmm. si yo digo, I have a pen, y yo digo, I have to go, estoy diciendo lo mismo ah. o no? No. No, okay. No. Ajá, ayúdeme ahí. Entonces, I have a pen me denota posesión. Ajá. It's like possession. ¿Y el the other one? Eh, yo tendré. Ah. No okay. sé. Sí. Ok, sí, vamos por ahí, Evelyn. Yo creo que sí lo vamos entendiendo. A ver, someone else. Ajá. Que nos ayude ahí con Evelyn. Ajá. Si when te... some... Ajá, Karen, go ahead. When something is necessary. Mm, uh -huh. When something is necessary, Karen, what do I use? I have a pencil or I have to go? I have to go. Uh -huh. All right. Very good. Someone else. Ya vamos llegando. Very good, Karen. Thank you. Someone else? Have and have to. Is it the same or is it different? And if it is different, why is different? Teacher, yo pienso que uno es infinitivo, I have to, uh -huh. porque iba la preposición to, okay. y después tiene que ir otro verbo. Uh -huh. Y la Sorry. otra que es la, la normal, I have. Uh -huh. La normal, muy bien. Uh -huh. sí, ¿Puedes sí. decirlo así? No sé si claro. así es. Sí, claro, ok, vamos por ahí, sí, ahí vamos llenando todo, todo va, va sumando, muy bien. Someone else, el último, la última, to give me another uh -huh. explanation. Sí, uh -huh. bueno. Lo que lo, yo medio lo que he entendido es que el has to lo vamos a ocupar cuando este, tenemos he, she, it. Sí, claro, yes. Y cuando hay have to, uh -huh. sería I, you, eh, we, they. 
Excellent. Muy bien, Kenia. Excellent. All right. Okay. So, vamos a ver esto acá. Vuelvo a compartir pantalla. Okay. So, here I have this. Okay. Cuando usted dice, I have a pen, esto me denota posesión. All right. It's my pen. I have a pen. Mire, aquí tengo uno. No sé si me logran ver. I have a pen. Tengo. Yo tengo un lápiz o un lapicero en este caso. Pero si yo digo, I have to go. El have to. El have to. O en todo caso, el has to. Lo que quiere decir es, tengo que. Ya no, quiere, ya no me denota posesión, me denota obligación. Yo tengo que estudiar. I have to study. All right, yo tengo que trabajar. I have to work. Ella tiene que comprar eh, comida. She has to buy food. All right, entonces tanto el have to como el has to. All right, lo que nos significa ahora es tener que. Ok. Ya no es solo tener. Yo tengo un lapicero, tengo tres hijos, tengo un carro, tengo una computadora. Él tiene tres perros. Nosotros tenemos una casa grande. Ellos tienen, eh, no sé qué tienen. Ellos tienen un televisor. All right. Eso es tener de posesión. Pero el have to y el has to, lo que significa o what it means es obligation. No es ni siquiera una sugerencia, es an obligation. Usted voy a dejar de compartir aquí. Usted aquel día me dijo, bueno, ayer, I have to learn English. All right. Muchos tienen que aprender inglés porque viene delegaciones, porque va a viajar, porque quiere otro trabajo, porque le ha gustado desde siempre, por algo, pero tiene que. Para usted es an obligation, por eso está aquí. All right. I have to learn English. All right. Y lo que nos decía Xiomar es cierto. Have to, de hecho, lo, lo consideramos un verbo modal, ¿verdad? Entonces, va unido el have to. Y como el, termina con la partícula to, lo que nos sigue es otro verbo. I have to go. She has to study. They have to sing a song. We have to, we have to uh, learn English. Have to. Y luego del have to va otro verbo y no lleva ningún cambio. All right. Si yo digo Chávez has to, ¿qué tiene que hacer mañana, Chávez? Cuénteme. Tomorrow I have to work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. All right. Chávez has to. ¿Por qué has to? Porque estoy hablando de él, no de mí. Tercera persona singular. Presente simple. Chávez has to. Work every day, no solo mañana, verdad, Chávez? Every day. All right, yes, okay. A ver, Oscar, cuénteme qué va a hacer, qué tiene que hacer, qué tiene que hacer el fin de semana, Oscar. I has, I, I has rest. Oh. You have to rest, tiene que descansar. Yes. Que es merecido, cierto. Oscar has to. Rest. Ahora, ojo, Oscar, cuando usted dice I, no me dice has, me dice have. I have to rest. All right. Ahora, cuando yo le cuento a sus compañeros qué tiene que hacer Oscar, yo digo he has to. Yes, porque es tercera persona singular. A ver, um, mañana en la oficina, Nina, todos en la oficina, ¿qué tienen que hacer mañana? Como equipo, Nina. Okay, we have a capacitación. You have a, a workshop? A workshop about uh, about buyers today. Okay. The, All right, yeah. entonces usted me puede decir we, de hecho me lo dijo, we have to attend have a to workshop. Tienen que ir tienen a, que workshop. a la capacitación. Mm -hmm. We have to attend. Yeah. No es que quiera o no, Nina. You no, have no. to. All right, it's an obligation. Yeah. Yes? yes, all right. Yes. Okay, ahorita everybody thinking what you have to do. Ya sea mañana, todos los días en la vida, whatever you want. Algo que usted diga, I have to. Escríbalo ahí en su cuaderno. I have to qué? What do you have to do?
finished? All right. Sure. Uh, yes. Um, I have to drink water. Yes, you have to. Decir mucha agua? I have to drink lots of water or a lot of water or oh. much water. Okay. Excellent. Very nice. Ahí está combinando las dos cosas que hemos visto. Con, no contable y have to. Very good, Stephanie. Another one. Levante manitas si quiere que le pregunte. All right. Quisiera ver todas las manitas de arriba. Excellent. Yes, Chávez. And then Xiomara. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher. Uh, I have to change my life. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, Xiomara. I have to eat healthy. Yes, you have to eat healthy. Evelyn, solo tres, veo arriba. Ajá, Evelyn. I have to rest tomorrow because I'm sick. Sick. Oh, my goodness. Espero que solo sea un ejemplo, Evelyn. All right, very good. Um, it, it, it's, 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 it's true. It's true. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. Okay, Karen, uh -huh. tell me your sentence. I have to practice English every day. You have to, my friend. Yes, Karen. ¿Qué pasó con los demás? Nobody. Bueno, entonces empiezo. Me, me yes, Willy. Ajá. Se salvó. I have to rest tomorrow, I think. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It uh, really... it, it's true. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Igual que Evelyn. Okay. Yes, Oscar. Tell me your sentence. I have to, I have to load in container. And in my work. Oh, you have to load a container. Yes. Wow. Okay. Okay, Oscar. That's an obligation, right? Si no, todo se atrasa, Oscar. Yes, yes. <laughs> Excellent. Very nice. Aha, uh -huh. ¿qué más? ¿Qué pasó con este? He said yes. Carlos Eduardo. I have to do a meeting with my team. Uh -huh. Okay, you have to do a meeting with your team or you have to go to a meeting with your team. Excellent. A ver, Stephanie Lisset, luego va Luis. Uh -huh. I have to take a shower. Yes, that's an obligation. <laughs> Very good, Luis. And then Elivaldo. I have to study every day in the night. Y, okay, very good, Luis. Solo cámbiale la preposición in y póngale at, at night. Okay. Excellent, nice. Luis. Very nice. Yes, Elivaldo and then Edwin and then Kenya. Okay, I have to drive all week. Okay, all right. Edwin? I have to get up early tomorrow. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Kenya, your sentence. I have to come finish product. Okay, very good. En la última, o el último, a ver, Wilfredo, Carla Lisset, Maylin, Vero, no, 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 no quiero que no. Sure. Uh -huh. uh, it's correct. I have to travel at the office in the Thursday. You have to travel to the office, to the office, yes. Mm -hmm. Or you have to go, uh -huh. very good. Yes, uh, ¿qué me falta? Yo. Okay, Carla, yes, Carla Lisset. Uh -huh. Okay, I have to have breakfast. Excellent. Yes, you have to have breakfast. Very nice. Y para despedirnos, Wilfredo, regáleme su oración, Wilfredo. I have to dry up. Excellent, Wilfredo. You have to drive. Yes, all right. Y todos, yes, es para todos y todas. You have to participate in your English class. Yes? Excellent, guys. Tomo la última asistencia y los dejo descansar. Vamos a ver aquí. Uh, 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 uh. Ahora se queda Carlos Elibaldo. A ver, Carlos Eduardo Artiga Berríos. Yes, teacher. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Mármol. Present teacher. Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Present teacher. Good yes. night. Thank you. Good night to you too. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodriguez. Present. Stephanie Michelle Zuniga Hueso. I hear. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Gabriel no está hoy, ¿verdad? All right. Ivania Jamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. 
Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Kenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Present teacher. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Mardoqueo Ramirez Pérez. Mailin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Present. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisnero Rosales. Present. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes. I'm here, teacher. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher, good night, everybody. Yes, Carla Lizette García Lemos. Present teacher. And Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Perfect, guys. Thank you so much for joining class. Adelante con las tareas. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Thank you. Teacher. Teacher. Hola. Eh, eh, fíjese que no me puedo meter a la... A la, a la plataforma, Wilfredo. Sí, sí, no me puedo meter. Eh, y no se puede meter porque no tiene el acceso o porque trata de ingresar y no le, no le, no le sale. No, no me sale. Eh, Trata de ingresar en, en, en el link que mandaron ellos y no, 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 me, no me da. Ah, ok. Vaya, Wilfredo. Si gusta, yo mañana en la mañana lo reporto para que un compañero se ponga en contacto con usted y le pueda asesorar, ¿de acuerdo? Gracias, gracias. Está bien, Wilfredo. Cuídese. Hi, Elibaldo. Hi, teacher. How are you? Um, very good. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. A ver, Elibaldo, no sé si tiene any question, alguna pregunta, ya sea de lo que vemos. Hola, mamá. Lo de ahora, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, sí, bueno, digamos, eh, anteriormente, el teacher anterior nos enseñó acerca de los match y el, el manual. Uh -huh. Acerca de eso, bueno, hoy fue algo así, ¿verdad? que por lo menos el, el, el book, usted hoy, hoy lo hizo como que no contable. ¿El book? Y, ajá, el no, libro. el book sí es contable. El book sí lo puedo, contable. lo puedo pluralizar, es contable. Lo que no es contable no, pero, son rendimientos y líquidos y esas cosas. Uh -huh. Ajá, vaya, pero de un ejemplo cerca de, del cat, o sea, lo, los gatos, clase, como clase de gatos también, ¿verdad? Eso es, puede ser no contable. En caso también está el, el dog, o sea, los perros también serían no contables. No, 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 todo eso sí se puede contar, a pesar de que son diferentes razas, pero sí son, es como unitario. Lo que no puedo ah, okay. contar son vegetales, frutas, ah, okay. son, no es que no las pueda contar, es que cuando yo digo vegetable, como vegetable es no contable. Ahora yo digo zanahoria, pepino, tomate, papa, eso sí se vuelve contable. Ah, ok, sí. Sí, solo esto, sí, porque la, lo más sí, ya sea lo líquido, así como sí. en la explicadora, uh -huh. lo, así como las cosas plásticas, no contables. Sí, sí. Los Ajá, sentimientos, el, el, los sentimientos, metal, uh -huh. la, mus, la música, uh -huh. el, el agua, eh, igual que también el, el polo, polo chin, la, la contaminación, no contable. Sí, porque, ya, eso es una no contable, sabe. exacto. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ok, perfecto. Okay. Sí, sí, lo demás sí lo podemos contar, ¿verdad? Yes. All right, Elibaldo, very good. So, thank you so much. ¿Ha podido accesar a la plataforma, Elibaldo? Sí, ya okay. hice la primera tarea. Excelente. Ahorita voy con la segunda. Very good. Excellent. Very nice. Ok. Bueno, lo dejo descansar. Thank you so much, Elibaldo. I'll see you tomorrow, ok? Ok, see you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye.